hoping that the smoke clear. I got diamonds to it, pussy slots in both days. Dice rolling on the Las Vegas trip tonight. Hello you guys, welcome back to a new video. I'm just about to head out. I gotta go get a COVID test done for the film industry. And then I'm gonna probably go to Ikea because I saw these really cute, like this really cute vase and these really cute fake flowers online. And I actually think I got the link from Pinterest um, when I was scrolling on there. Sometimes they put like shopping links and then you can see where like everything is from. So I wanna go check out to see if they have what I want because it is so cute and I wanna start decorating slowly maybe, we'll see, um, like the bedroom especially. But anyways, so we're just gonna go out now. I just had my smoothie, I got ready for the day. Um, this is my fit, I'm just wearing these Nikes. I've gotten asked what these are and honestly I have no idea. But I'm wearing these Nikes, I'm wearing these leggings, and then I have on this long sleeve from Aritzia with my puffer and my purse. It is super sunny today, but it's kind of like, it kind of tricks you because it's sunny, but it's still really cold. I cannot wait for the heat. I just like want to be able to go outside with this, like a shirt and that's it. Like I'm <laughs> having to wear this jacket, um, but it's fine. This is also really awkward weather for like how to dress. So I don't know, I just put together this random ass outfit. It's whatever, but let's get going. I think I was gonna make a coffee now, but I think I'm just gonna have one when I get back because I'm scared if I drink it, then I'm gonna have to go to the bathroom. And I don't like going to the bathroom when I'm out. Like I'd rather go at home, so. Okay, I know I said that I wanted to go to Ikea and Walmart before I go home, but I just got out of Walmart and I am so hungry and I really want a coffee. So I think I'm just gonna go unpack my stuff that I got from Walmart. I'm gonna clean up a little bit because I kind of left the house a mess when I left, to be honest. I kind of left clothes everywhere. Um, so I think I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna clean up, unpack my groceries, I'm gonna eat, reset and then we will go out to ikea because ikea is not that far for me anyway so it doesn't like really matter it's like you know when you're just so hungry and you just like really want to go eat that's me right now so it's actually like so stuffy in my car right now like, this weather is really weird okay let's go home okay guys i just got home and i'm gonna give you guys a bit of a walmart haul i just kind of got a couple things that I kind of needed and then I just got a little treat for myself. First thing I got from Walmart is toilet paper. We love, okay. So we just got coffee filters because we ended up getting a drip coffee machine so we can have drip coffee. We really love the Nespresso, but Joel also really likes drip coffee. So um, for when he's craving drip coffee, we got drip coffee. So I got this fresh breath oral rinse and apparently this is like life changing so i'm gonna try it i will let you guys know how it goes next thing i got is this lavender honey calming body lotion i've honestly never heard of this brand before but i thought that i'd give it a go because it just looked really cute and lavender and honey are right up my alley so we'll see how this is um then i got mini eggs because like i said it's easter and i really want to make cute like rice crispy treats with these next thing i got is my cellar water because i'm running out and then i got a huge bag of chocolate chips just because you just always eat chocolate chips and end up using them in something so got that and the last thing that i got is just these bounce dryer sheets but yeah that's the little haul okay i would like to give a big shout out to secret beauty deals for sponsoring this video so basically what they are is they are a website that tracks and compares prices on health and beauty products across canada so they will always get you the best pricing for your health and beauty products um, that you use in your daily routines and they can get you up to 60% off and they let you know when the top products or even your favorite products go on sale so that you can get them at the best prices and get more for less. So this is actually the first Canadian price tracker site that compares all of the health and beauty products across the drugstores in Canada so that's why I'm literally so excited to work with them because as a Canadian this is so cool to me so if you guys are looking for a specific product that you want to know when the price drops on it all you have to do is click their watch button and then it'll add it to your watch list and then it will alert you 
and kind of track the product for when it goes on sale so that you'll know exactly when and where to buy it um, and you will get the best deal on it. So if you use their website, you will never have to pay full price for your favorite um, beauty or health products literally ever again. And things can add up and get expensive, obviously, especially within health and beauty. So <laughs> this is a really, really great tool. So Secret Beauty Deals would also like your guys' feedback. So if you could click the link in my description box, check out their website and leave a comment down below on how you like using it and what's your first impressions with the website because that would be really helpful to them for them growing their website and everything. So yeah, thank you to them for sponsoring this video. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys the mess. It's not that bad. I just need to it's just basically clothing on the floor. We'll get that clean real quick. Oh, I just cannot wait until my couch comes in. I'm just so excited. Okay, it's not even bad, honestly. Not bad at all. We just gotta clean, got some stuff on here, and this will probably take me only like 10 minutes, so we're good. <laughs> Okay, just got my jacket and shoes on and we are going to go to Ikea. I just looked up the vase that I wanted and it said that there was six left in stock. So <laughs> I'm gonna like speed over there. No, I'm just kidding. Should be fine. But like if I get there and they're out of stock, I will be pissed. So we're gonna leave now. Okay, I think I'm gonna get this because I the vision putting my Nespresso pods in here because it'll make it so cute and we have nothing to hold them right now so I think I'm gonna get this hey guys I found the face how cute is this like I'm in love with it it is so aesthetic I'm so happy there's literally four left so glad I got here in time <laughs> Here is an Ikea haul. I am so excited. Okay, so the first thing I got is this jar. I think I showed you guys in the store. I'm just gonna put the Nespresso pods in here because I feel like this would look really cute. I saw something similar on Pinterest that gave me this inspo. So I'm gonna do that. Then I got this, the vase that I wanted. How cute is this? I will be linking everything down below for you guys. Um, in case I forget, just remind me in the comments, but how freaking cute. And then I got these um, leaves to put inside the vase. I might need to cut them, but I'm gonna find a place for this because I'm just in love and it looks so cute. And then I got this bathroom set because my drawer in the bathroom is kind of all over the place and I just wanna kinda get it more organized. So we're gonna see how this works, but I'm really excited. Okay, first things first, we're gonna put the pods in here. I actually can't wait. This is gonna look so freaking cute. Oh my god, that is a perfect fit. This looks so cute. Many of you guys are wondering, these are the double espresso scurros. We just love the espresso shots, so. I think that this looks so cute and aesthetic. I don't know if this is like the right positioning, but just having it beside here looks so cute. I love it. Okay, this is the state of my drawer. So this is why I need some organization. I feel like everything is just everywhere and this can definitely be more organized. So that's why I got this. So let's hope that this kind of solves my issue here. Cause I think it could, and I think it will. I also think I saw this on Pinterest. So that's where I kind of, that's where it caught my eye. Honestly, Pinterest is such a good outlet for getting inspiration for decorating and everything. So if you guys ever like need inspiration, honestly, just go on Pinterest. Like it's so good. I just love it. And I used to not be a Pinterest girl. Like I used to never go on Pinterest, but 
I just love it so much. Like it's so good and inspiring and it just gives you like inspiration, you know? Oh, it comes with a big one. I didn't even realize that was. It has individual little ones, three of these, the littles. And then it has this one and then it comes with this big one. So I'm excited. You guys, I never used to floss my teeth, but ever since I started getting these, it just motivates me to floss. I know it's a waste of plastic and it's very unnecessary, but this is the only way that I'm motivated to floss, so. I'm actually obsessed like how much cleaner I know I didn't put everything back but how much cleaner does this drawer look with everything just like nicely organized with lids I'm obsessed so here I just put like my hair elastics and then I'm gonna put like any hair clips that fit um, I got some face cotton pads q-tips flossers and then pretty much just dental things in here Plus, I just have random wax strips in there, but it looks so clean. If you guys are looking for some good bathroom drawer organization, 10 out of 10 would suggest. Um, I'm going to put everything back now, and then I'll show you guys what it looks like with everything in, but already so much cleaner. Okay, so here is the finished drawer. I know it looks a lot more cluttered, but it's way better than before. So here in the corner, I just have my hair tools, hair brushes, dry shampoo. Here I have my makeup. That's like my main makeup bag that I use. And then this is just like extra makeup. And then I just have a bunch of lip glosses here and lip liners, like pretty much all my lip products. And then just a couple random things. I got my cream that I bought today, the mouthwash that I bought today. And then I have all this that I organized. So it looks so much better and feels so much better than before. Currently cooking dinner. I got some green beans cooking up right now. I got some rice. And then in here, I got some fish. It's cod, so that's a little meal for tonight. The green beans, all I did was put olive oil, red pepper flakes, salt, and garlic, and then this is just rice, and this is the salmon. I mean, sorry, the cod that I bought at Meridian the other day. It was already pre-flavored. So this is a super easy dinner to make. I'm so excited to eat. Mm. Okay, so here is the vase. I really love it, like I'm obsessed. I just don't know where to put it. I'm thinking maybe in the kitchen or on the night table in the room because right now in the room we have absolutely no decorations it's just so plain so i'm gonna put it on there and see how that looks and if i don't like it i'll just leave it in the kitchen and then maybe once we get a couch it'll go like on one of the side tables i don't know but i know that i definitely want to use it for something i'm gonna see how it looks on the night side table right now i do really love how it looks in the kitchen um obviously i wouldn't put it there but just in general i just really like how it looks in here as well so if there's no other place to put it then i'll just leave it in the kitchen but we'll see here's how it looks in the bedroom i think it might be a bit like big for this night table and it stands out a little too much so i think i like it better in the kitchen so i think i'm gonna keep it in there also i saw this really nice color duvet at ikea it was kind of like a beige color and I'm thinking of maybe switching up the bedding from white to just like a really neutral color like beige or something just to have like a contrast with the like all of the white in here. All I would do though is I would just buy like a duvet cover and then just put it over this uh, comforter so that it's not going to be too expensive. It'd be probably like $30 to buy one so it's not even bad plus I'd still be using this and I can take it off and put it on whenever I want. So I think that might be the move i'm not sure yet but i definitely want to get a bed frame get the decoration going in here because it's just so plain right now but if you guys know any websites to get prints like that has really nice prints let me know because i have no idea where to look for that because that would be really helpful so thank you okay so before i end off today's vlog i just want to give you my tips on how i attract money I know it can be like a very stressful thing for some people. I know in one of my recent vlogs I talked about money, but I just wanted to address it again and give you my tips on how to attract it. Basically, you just gotta let the idea of it go. Like you have to stop stressing about it, and I know that's almost impossible sometimes, but you just kind of have to let the idea of it go and just pretend like it's just a number. That's the best way that 
I find I attract money is I just don't think about it. Whatever happens, happens, and whatever's meant to be is gonna meant to is gonna be meant to be. And at the end of the day, stressing about something isn't gonna make anything better. It's not gonna help your situation. If anything, it's just gonna make it worse. So when you put stress on something, it's just and worry about it. It's just putting more negative attention and putting more negative energy on it. And that's just not helping you manifest anything. And I know it's like hard to have that mindset switch where you just like don't care about money. But try your best to just like almost just don't think about it. And just have the feeling of being well off and know that you're going to be able to afford whatever comes your way, whatever bills you're going to have at the end of the month. Just know that you're going to be able to afford it and that's that's it like you don't know maybe you don't know how the money's going to come to you but just know that you're going to be able to afford something and you will be able to because you create your own reality if you live in a reality where you can afford everything that comes your way then you're going to be able to do it like <laughs> i don't know it's just all the law of attraction moving out can be a little bit stressful groceries add up gas adds up car insurance like there's so many extra things except like paying rent or like a mortgage there's so much extra things other than that that you don't really think about there was like a day when we first moved in here where i was like getting stressed about it and i'm like wait what am i doing like gotta gotta separate reality from who i am spiritually and i gotta get back into that manifestation mode where i just like you know, I got to snap out of this realistic thinking and like stress, stressing and dwelling on all these little um, things. And that's how the universe starts working in mysterious ways for you. And that's how it presents you with new opportunities. Like who knows, maybe you'll get offered a new job that you're making like double what you're making. Um, you never know, like you really never know the universe works in mysterious ways. So once you switch your mindset, you will be able to attract whatever you want. So yeah, anytime I worry about money or just like anything in general, I just kind of sit down with myself and I'm like, okay, what is worrying going to do about the situation? Is it going to help it? No. So <laughs> I got to let that worry go and I just got to put it into God's um, the universe's hands and that's it just you got to sit back like obviously I'm not saying oh go sit on the couch and you're gonna magically get money but <laughs> you know what I mean like still do what you got to do um, take every new opportunity that comes your way and just know that also that at the end of the day like money like when you die you're not taking any money with you you're not taking any like it's just a number in your bank account honestly and if you think about it that way it's going to be so much easier for you, for you to attract it because it's not something that you're putting on a pedestal and it's not something that's like so unattainable it's literally just like right here so you can just easily attract it you know i honestly am such in a happy place right now i feel so calm like in my heart and in my mind and in my body and i just feel so 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 grateful every single day to wake up in this like my own apartment it's just crazy just keep leveling up that's probably one of like my best pieces of advice that i could ever give somebody it's always keep leveling up like keep taking new opportunities keep opening those doors because you never know where something is going to lead you and before i moved out like i said if you guys watch my videos like i just felt like this and moving out now like i feel like i'm excelling and jumping to a higher version of myself again and it just feels so good but yeah so yeah that's a little update on how i'm feeling i'm just like very at peace and it's such a good spot for me to make my content in like it's so much i feel more a lot more creative in this space it's just such a good feeling and i'm so happy that i did this I'm just so at peace and I'm so, 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 so grateful. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, especially if you stayed up until this point. I literally love you and I will see you guys in my next video.